Hi, I'm David, a visual artist and educator with Brick. And in honor of Black History Month, we will be celebrating the work of Kara Walker. Kara Walker is a contemporary artist and professor who addresses race, gender, violence, and identity while placing a microscope over slavery in American history. Walker is widely known for placing black silhouettes on white backgrounds, capturing the violence and unsettling imagery of the antebellum South. For this activity, you will need a pencil, white cardstock or bristle paper, black construction paper, a ruler, scissors, and a glue stick. We'll be using a tableau where characters are placed in poses for dramatic effect as if they were cast in a play. A tableau is a frozen moment in time. To begin, let's consider what will be happening in your scene. What story would you like to tell? And what poses would you like to have your characters take in this tableau? Let's grab our pencil and our cardstock paper. First, we're gonna start by drawing our characters and our poses for stencils on our board. Then you can grab your scissors, and if you're a child, you can use child safety scissors as well. Now when you're cutting, because your drawing might have a lot of curves, you really want to bend your paper and turn it in order to really capture the details that you added in your drawing. And this will be ready for you to transfer over to your black construction paper. Now I try to utilize as much of the paper as possible. So I will place my characters maybe as far as I can, closer to the edges. For this scene, we're gonna have this little girl reaching up and pointing as this balloon bender is approaching her and handing her a balloon. Now, I'm gonna leave as much space as possible in the middle so that I can eventually trace balloons. And then we avoid wasting paper. Always remember when you're tracing, to really keep your fingers as flush to the edges of wherever your pencil was tracing just to avoid any sliding. As I am tracing my stencil, I keep my fingers real close to the edges. And if you need to double back and you feel like maybe you didn't press down enough and you wanna make sure that line is definitely defined considering that we're tracing on black, just go back over it, that's fine. But just make sure your fingers are constantly scanning as you're tracing to avoid any loss of detail or maybe losing your place. I'm gonna double back just to make sure I get that detail. Now the scissor has become your pencil or your paintbrush or whatever medium you're comfortable with, or tool you sh I should say you're comfortable with. So I'm just gonna break them up and then cut whatever excess. All right, so now before we start gluing down our characters in their poses on the paper, we want to make sure we place them and really block out how our image is going to look. So we know we're going to have one balloon. I do need one more string because these strings, these balloon strings are going to be taut. So it's okay that they're perfectly straight, right? But we need one string for this balloon that's going to be handed over to the little girl or appear to be handed to the little girl. And for that one, I'm gonna make sure I embrace some curves. Now we are prepared to start gluing. We are applying glue to the back of our character. And you wanna do this to the character and not directly onto the paper. Any extra glue you could just rub right off, especially towards the edges. and really try to get the glue evenly. Go all the way to the edges of your character just to avoid any folding up eventually after time passes. Sometimes you get some curling on like the edges of paper or anything that's glued down. So you really wanna make sure the glue is completely flushed. And remember that she, he's slightly higher up than she is. And any 
excess glue, you can just rub away. Now because it's a silhouette, I can apply the strings last. Focus on the balloons and the characters and where they will be placed. Not sure what you guys are going to be making, but just always consider what are the main focal points and things that you really want to lay down and place to avoid making it too busy, I guess, or too troublesome when you're trying to lay them down, I should say, not necessarily busy. There are two points. This one has a curve and this one has a slight straight edge. I'm gonna use this point because where he grasps the string from this point to the balloon should be taut. Just to make it appear as if the balloon is pulling away. And floating away, and actually floating, right? So, that's, so that'd be just slightly, we can just sell the fact that maybe this balloon is actually floating. Get some more glue. And then you want to have some sort of randomness. So balloons should be overlapping to really sell the depth. All right, there you have it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about Kara Walker and making artwork inspired by her work.